Hello, welcome to LEB Toys. Today we're building the massively whimsical, elegant and gorgeous Lego Movie 2 Queen, whatever a wannabe is, not so, oh, so, hold on, so not evil space palace. Feels like it should be like not so evil, but so not, it's so not evil. It's like so not evil. Let's open it up. It's a big box. This is, oh, the, the Lego Movie sets are so much fun to build because they are wacky and crazy. Ah, it's got a mint base plate. That's very cool. Lots and lots of bags, oodles of bags, seven bags. We've got an enormous book here and I can see, ooh, stickers. All right, so we had better get building. Now, this set is, I think, the very first set that has not got any minifigures or mini dolls in the first bag. So I've brought in my own mini dolls. These girls are gonna hang out here in the Space Palace because they can. Now, this one here is Stephanie, did you guess? And over here, we've got Emma. She is about to hang out here with all the rest of them. Who is under this helmet? It is Olivia. Of course it's Olivia. There is no chance that she was going to miss out on this opportunity to hang out in space. So we've got our mint base plate. Let's build fast because, well, obviously I'm not building fast. I've just sped it up. But otherwise we are going to be here all day. This is actually quite a complex build. It's fun though. It's really fun to do something that's a little bit more challenging. And the colors in this are so pretty. Look at this. We've got teal. We've got, like I said, that mint or light aqua or whatever, whatever color they call that. But they're really pretty color for the base plate. And we are, that's going to hold the whole thing, this plate down here. Okay, we've got, that looks like a new piece to me. It looks like binoculars, like opera glasses. Might not be a new piece, piece, but it is entirely a new piece for me. And it goes on these technique blocks here. So we've got these little angled out pointy bits so that we can put these bended bits. <laughs> so good with words, I am bended bits. And they angle out there. Oh, and the little balloon bottoms actually rest on the ground. This is so much fun to do something that's like a completely out there design, something that doesn't exist in real life, just something that's created entirely from your imagination. So cool. Okay, steps going up on either side and they are glassy and we're putting lots and lots of colors on here. There's another set of steps over there. So Stephanie, you know, the girls just have to, they have to play test these for me, make sure that they are structurally sound, make sure everything is being put on nice and securely because we don't want any accidents once I've finished building and things falling apart because I haven't pressed everything down properly. We've finished lining this section here with pink. Now we got these, oh, those triangle pieces are cool. Do those triangle pieces exist before? I'm not sure. All right, we're up to bag number two because I told you we we're going super fast. Now, we do have a minifigure in here. It's Batman with his shiny pants. <laughs> He's totally disco Batman. He is shiny. He is sparkly. He has got two different faces. Let's put the happy one on because he is so happy to be here. He's got some stars on his head and look, he's grooving for you already. Let's put him up here on our little built bit. Stephanie's just going to keep an eye on him, make sure he doesn't get up to any mischief. We've also got a miniature version of the cone that we built in, oh, I can't remember which set it is, but the set with the uh, Unikitty and Unikitty and Friends with the giant chocolate bar, so cool. And of course, this is Queen Whatever Wanabi's Space Palace. So not evil Space Palace, and of course she has to be in it. And this is also a miniature version of Queen Whatever Wanabi. <laughs> Just like a tiny one, tiny version. Here's her crown though. The crown looks kind of outsized on her little, little version. But hey, <laughs> I can play. Now I've got two of these crown pieces, which is cool. Okay, let's keep going with the palace and seeing how this all goes together. There's lots of nice icy glass blue pieces in it and lots of teal and lots of nice magenta. Of course, lots and lots and lots of white and it just, just makes it really clean and sleek looking. And all those little outward facing studs, which means we're gonna be lining the outside of this with something. Okay, furniture on the inside, because this is a palace, we're going to need some thrones. So this is such a cool, spacey way to make a throne. We need a matching one though. So we have two of these thrones and they go on these teal circles in here and Batman can plonk his butt in one of those and Queen whatever Wanabi can sit in the other one and they'll wait very patiently while I build them the table. And the table, this is really cool. The table, it has 
like four ice cream legs, but it's held together with this bottom balloon part. That's actually, well, that's what holds it onto the ground. Get off the table, ice cream. It's not where you belong. Uh, <laughs> except I, yeah, okay, okay. Everything's, everything's under control. Ice cream's off the table. We can keep building. Over here, we are obviously going to need somewhere to make delicious space cocktails. So this is what we've got happening over here. We've <laughs> got a love heart gem as the actual mixer for the cocktail mixer, which is cool. And here's some of the yummies that have been mixed, all completely, completely awesome and crazy. And they're matching, well, kind of matching. Well, they're not matching at all. And we've got, <laughs> we've got, couple to put over here and that's like a little tray that you can take off and we have got the ones that are already made sitting there on the table and we've got a candle in the middle so romantic their dinner table is almost set they're going to need some plates and on the plates I wonder who ordered what ah, of course Batman ordered a lobster love this piece the little eyes are just hilarious and a croissant for Queen whatever Wanabi she looks really really pleased about that right they can have dinner we can keep building. We have got, oh, okay, sorry. What else do they need for their romantic evening? Well, they need some music. And this little oh, purple translucent piece is like a touch screen, but it's being used as a computer screen for their sound mixing desk here. That's awesome. Uh, I'm sad I didn't actually make Andrea come to the Space Palace because she could have done this job really well, but Stephanie's just gonna have to shape up and do the music for their romantic evening. Let's see what else we are building here. Okay, oh, we're heading into these gold stickers, which are going to create some embellishment. Now, remember all of those outward facing studs I talked about around the sides? These gold stickers are actually going to help add decoration to the side. Isn't that cool? So we're now lining the side with the with sloped pieces to curve it around. I was going to say curved pieces, but the sloped pieces actually create the curve, if that makes sense. Speaking of curves, here's some actual curved pieces to, to create more of a curvy space. And we've got some more of the gold stickers to just add some accent, some embellishment. Just make sure I've lined them up nicely, otherwise they will annoy me later on if they're not straight. Okay, that's looking good. And now we've got some flat pieces, which also need some of these gold stickers. Nice, almost nice, much better now. And they go uh, there. Uh, all right, and we have got some more outward facing studs on the front and I put that in the wrong spot. That's happy now. Okay, now it is looking good, but we have not quite finished yet. We are putting on some gold tiles as well as the gold stickers to finish up the accents around the side. Doesn't that look fantastic? Isn't that cool? More of these triangle pieces. Are they new? I don't know that I've seen them before and they are going to be so useful. We're up to bag number three and we are rocking along. Let's see what bag three brings. Oh, <laughs> let's bring Queen whatever Wanabi out because I actually missed off an important piece of her body. And I also forgot from bag two to put the sticker on the touch screen, the touch screen, the touch screen. I can't figure out which way it goes up. I think that's right. <laughs> if it's not, the music's gonna sound really wonky. Okay, this bag has got a mini doll in it. This is our vampire mini doll. It's Celeste with her fangs out the front and her little yellow eyes and a purple strange patch on her head. Oh, okay, the reason she has a purple strange patch is because she has got side hair, like a side, like an undercut or a shaved side, and the glittery purple goes on the other side, so that way she doesn't look bald on one side. That's actually really cool. That's awesome. Oh, we're gonna have some fun with vampire mini dolls. And to actually make some lovely space foliage in the space palace, we've got purple flowery planty kind of things made out of the, well, those plant pieces that are normally in green and some blue flame things. So they are making very nice floral arrangements, space floral arrangements for the queen's palace. This is all just nuts. It really is so, much fun to build something that's not real. Uh, okay, uh, we've got all these angle pieces here, the hinge pieces, which are going to create angled walls. So because they're actually, you can angle them, you can put things on the hinge, you can make a little rounded wall there without actually having to need to use round wall pieces. So lots of hinges on there, and we'll see how that works in a moment. But we're building out some more little archways there and some nice big pillars lined with magenta and they have got some 
they've got they've got some some ornamentation on them too some straight ornamentation now which is nice and we put those yep nice big pillars in the main dining room of the space castle the space palace sorry <laughs> don't want to get that wrong okay nice big archway more mint pieces structures looking pretty good we've got some enormous mint pieces here now and we have got some stickers which are going to also create some more uh, embellishment inside and these ones need to line up with the ones I've just put in so I'm gonna take them out again and see if I can just get them to line up properly oh, how did that not line up ah there we go all right that's good let's try this one now oh ah, let's fix that there we are okay so <laughs> That looks really cool. That's just adding some extra interest on the inside. We're using the hinge there on the top to make sure they get held firmly and securely into place. And now it is really starting to look good. These are weird uprighty speakery things. So some really nuts looking speakers. <laughs> they're all, they're definitely partying inside here. And we've got some more good things happening up here on the top of the level. Some more structural pieces, some more archways. Lots and lots of rounded surfaces in here, or rounded, rounded structure, which makes it really very nice to look at. It makes it soothing to look at. <laughs> or am I just making that up? I could just be making that up. There is this random hook sticking out there on the side of what's going to be the entryway. Uh, and obviously that's going to have some sort of feature piece on it. But we need some more foliage now. I could be wrong. These might actually not be foliage. They might like be blue flame pieces. Are they? What are they? I actually have no idea. I have no idea. But I'm going with them being foliage at the moment until I change my mind and then they might be blue flame. <laughs> okay, building up the doorway. There's some more of those little hook pieces. We're going to need some sort of really magnificent entryway here into Queen Whatever Wanabi's palace. This is all on the one piece. Isn't that cool? Okay, all right. We've got our magenta second floor going on up there and it's looking good. Now, to frame the entryway, we've got some gold rods and this bendy piece of pipe. I've never done this before to just create a nice big gold line. Isn't that cool? We're up to bag number four and the entryway looks fantastic. We're now heading up to the next level and I have no idea what's going on here, but there's like just a random little pink heart put on there. There is a donut and a coffee cup. So this is where uh, obviously somebody's hanging out in here. They come up here for snacks, maybe. This <laughs> is the snack room. Uh, it might be the snack room. It's a nice big screen here, which is, oh, which is like the iPhone. The iPhone with the, oh, with the heart that Emmett gives in, oh, to the Duplo, oh, at the beginning. Oh, that's so cute. So there's a screen up here, which is actually the touch screen of a, of an iPhone. <laughs> so maybe this is the TV viewing room. It can be whatever you want it to be. It can be whatever you want an be it to be. We've put the roof on and we've got more of these nice white roundy pieces. These cool little arched tiny pieces are really awesome. They just make nice structural interest on the outside. And speaking of structural interest, check this out. This is like an enormous big wavy kind of thing that just gets shoved on the front there. And there's no symmetry here. I love the fact, as much as I love symmetry, I love to see things without them too. And this looks so good without, <laughs> without symmetry. It just looks fantastic. Okay, we've got, we've got some additional little platformy things over there on either side. Once again, they're not symmetrical. They're sitting at different levels on the Space Palace. And we've got a bendy pipe there and we attach these little claw pieces onto it to create a balcony effect. Ah! And this one goes over here and here's one that I prepared earlier it goes over here. And Olivia can stand up there, she can wave at Celeste from her balcony. <laughs> Two slightly different levels, we're up to bag number five. The Space Palace is looking good. We've got a turny bit up the top. So this piece that we are building right now is going to turn. So let's see how it goes on, what it does, what it looks like. Well, I know what it does, it's gonna turn. Got a whole heap of gold smooth pieces on the top. Some more of those little sticky out arms, curved arms, and some more of those little opera, opera glass pieces which means you can actually attach things into those little curved out arms. Oh, that, that spins around. The top part of it is going to spin around. That's cool. 
Okay, got another big platformy thing happening here, I think. Some more of the little blue flame flowery things. And they're attached in with the... This is all very structurally attractive. Check that out. And there's claws on the inside to hold something. We've made a lovely little circular... Circular something, like a, a little living area maybe? Whatever it's going to be, it's just... Every part of this is interesting to build. It's, and it's really interesting to just see how it all goes together and to find out what each part does because none of it is, is sensible. It's, it's, it's all so, so much fun. We're creating kind of a standy. Oh, wow, that goes in there. And we've got another one of these touch screens. This time I'm remembering to put the sticker on and no idea what, maybe that's a control panel for whatever this is or maybe it's somewhere once again where you hang out to watch TV. I don't know. Actually, this looks kind of like a spaceship to me. Kind of looks like we're putting... Ah, there we go. This little space pod thing on the top. <laughs> so awesome. Now we've got some more of these little branch pieces that are going to create a nice firm arch when I put everything in the right place. There we go. And this here with the telescope bit down... <gasps> this goes on the hinges and that just kind of plonks on the top so that flips back you can open that up we put Celeste in here and she could kind of be just controlling the whole space palace from here all more of these curved hollow rods to create a nice little line around around the whole thing we're up to bag number six this is going on the top it's going to spin around bag six has got some more of the little characters and it's got oh it's got the happy heart it's got a happy heart with a little <laughs> <laughs> little, the little please eyes on, and we've got a second one with the really happy heart version. <laughs> we got heart and happy heart. We got two different hearts, and we have got star. So happy, slightly nuts happy that one. But <laughs> they obviously all hang out here at Queen Whatever Wanabi's palace. Of course, this is like their base. And this here is who knows what this is. Looks like a bathtub. Is it a bathtub? I don't know. We will find out as we build some more. That's nice. That's, that's cool. We've got three of these and they line around the outside. No, they don't quite. I need to put them on the correct places. This goes on what's the front, I think. And we've got a control panel in there, a couple of little joystick sticks or things to control this. And we've got <laughs> We've got a little bubble top. These are the cutest little space pods ever. We can fly the little happy hearts around. <laughs> I was kind of hoping the joysticks would hold them in place, but I think they're just going to um, fly around freely inside these little pods. There's two of them exactly the same. One goes out here and the other one goes up here and you can detach them. Look, they just come nice and easily off. You can fly them all around whenever you want. <laughs> this is looking so awesome. I think we're building another little space pod by the look of the beginnings of this, but it's going to be, it's a different design again which is awesome. I love these different building techniques. They're so interesting. Okay, so this one's lined in, oh, this is tiny. This is like a really small one. I think this one might be designed. We got two of these two. This one, oh, it goes on the hook just next to the front door. That random hook that was just sitting there and the other one goes up there. They are little tiny pods. <laughs> so adorable, we're up to bag number seven. And are we building yet another space pod? I think we, I think, were there any more like outlying arm things to actually attach another space pod to. It looks like we've got some control panels there and some more little curved round sides and oh that kind of looks like because it's got a little okay this one goes over there that one's got a little a little curved lump in the middle which is like it might be for Unikitty. Does Unikitty come in this set? I haven't well we haven't built Unikitty yet so let's let's find out. Got these nice big curvy kind of sail pieces here and I don't, I don't even know what these are I just I do know that they look awesome so these just get attached at seemingly random places around the space palace they're not actually random and they're not all exactly the same these ones have got the little blue half circles on them the other one's just got the blue bobble on the top are they like um like flags maybe that fly straight up. <laughs> Can flags fly straight up? 
I suppose they can if there's no gravity. I suppose they can if you're just kind of making it up and it's your own special world. They can do whatever you done well, please. So let's put this one over here. Oh, this one's like the first one we built. Is it exactly the same though? It goes on there. So this one goes all the way up here. And surely we are so close to finish. We've got another one of these little sails to build. All slightly different. All right. This is awesome. This one, oh, this one has got a big tall tippy top with some gold discs on it. And this goes, like I said, on the tippy top. So we're going up, 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 all the way to the tippy top. Oh, that's so tall. That's so cool. All right, that empty pod needs one more character, which sadly is not Unikitty. Oh, sad. It's actually the Royal Guard. So the Royal Guard for, well, Queen whatever Wanabi's Royal Guard, it gets, uh, gets his own little space pod and his own little face piece. And so what are those triangle pieces? But this time they're printed. Oh, wow. He's cool. And he has got one little arm that goes down here and another little arm that faces out forwards with a claw so he can hold on to his gigantic lollipop when we build it. But first up, he needs this like, nice big cresty thing. There's his... It looks like a balloon to me, but apparently it's a lollipop. Can be whatever a you and Arbor to be. Mmm. Okay, he can hop in his little space pod and he can fly around off, oh, fly around off there. They can all fly around whenever they want. <laughs> so adorable. Those little pods are just so cute. I've just broken this one. Let's fix that. <laughs> oh my goodness. And meanwhile, Batman's still here reclining and feeling a bit uncomfortable after he's eaten too much lobster. Wow, all right. So as crazy whimsical space palaces go, this one is really, really elegant. Colors are gorgeous, the rounded shapes, gorgeous, the big negative space and the, and oh, it's just, it's it's so lovely. It's gonna make a really nice display piece. Ah, it's gonna be really fun to play with. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Oh, and make sure you let me know what you thought of the vampire mini doll. That's a really cool concept. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use her for though. I'll think of something. And all right, I will see you with another video very soon. So make sure you check back in and I'll see you then. Bye.